Hey guys, uh, welcome to day 41, February 19th, 2012. I have officially um, indoctrinated my brother-in-law into juicing. And he is really uh, struggling at times, but I think he's doing alright. Friday night we weighed him in at um, probably about 10 o'clock at night. And his weight was 224 pounds. And this morning, Sunday morning... He weighed in at 218.5 pounds, so that's a great loss for a day and a half of work. And uh, tomorrow he wants to try to get in the gym to do some cardio, and I keep trying to tell him not to, but he's going to be stubborn and do it anyway. So if he passes out, I'll let you guys know. I'll, leave, I'll make sure I take a photo of it too. Um, Planet Fitness, get your emergency workers ready. All right. Um, today was a really rainy and dreary day. We had a, a little bit of uh, cloud cover throughout the day, so we couldn't really get out and get any dog walks in, um, which didn't really matter. We were doing a bunch of homework and getting other things done around the house and trying to get uh, trying to get some veggie shopping in. Um, the added load of an extra person juicing is is definitely uh, something we weren't really prepared for yesterday so we ran out of vegetables and had to go out and take care of it today um, you know uh, another topic I want to talk about today. I wanted to know what you guys had planned after your 60 days and I was kinda of fumbling around with what I was gonna do after my 60 days um, I think what I'm gonna do is attempt to uh, I guess you know go on the there's a, there's a plan that they tell you to go on before you start doing juice only. And that is to have two juices and a light meal or a, a raw veggies uh, dinner at the end of the day. And I was really considering doing that for a week and then getting back on the juicing and continue to my 100 pound goal. So I don't think I'm going to make 100 pounds in 60 days, but I'm trying. I'll be hitting the gym tomorrow and tomorrow evening and uh, trying to get that burn in and I think what else is going on um, you know for, for anybody just starting out I, I wouldn't recommend you go into the gym that's that's adding all those lactic acids from the muscles breaking down and getting into your system your, your body is currently doing an internal workout that it's it's really pushing to to cleanse your body on the inside and it, you don't want to put more toxins in and just it, it'll just extend the process it'll just make it worse it literally took me 10 days to just feel the energy to get enough to get out the door and go for a walk down the block I started out only being able to go down the block and back and uh, my energy was spent I was 330 pounds I'm six foot and 330 pounds tying my shoes was a task it made me out of breath um, so, you know, it's, it's one of those things when you got to, you know, just understand where you're at in the process, kind of, kind of let your body do the talk. And if your body tells you you can do it, okay, that's fine. But realize when you're doing it, the process is detox, wait, a, wait a couple weeks and then, then go to your routine. And, you know, if that's the case, great. You know, I, I'm, I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to pat you on the back and tell you great, great job. And, uh, you know, especially for those that are just starting out, your first week is going to be hell. It's, it's what I affectionately call the hell week. You have body aches. You have, I mean, the hairs on my arm. I could feel them moving. It was ridiculous. Um, I was having dreams of food 24-7. I decided to take a nap, and I woke up feeling guilty for eating something in my dream. And that's, you know, I still have those occasionally, but not as much now as I did then. Um... You know, to find out the new things that you can uh, take into your body, it's, it's a learning process. I mean, you can you can have herbal teas, you can have warm lemon waters. Um, you know, no sugar, no no sweeteners. The the occasional little bit of honey or or agave sweetener, but some people are even sensitive to that. So you know, 
keeping that glucose down is, is key, but I still have a morning juice of fruit. Some people say strictly 20% fruit, 80% veggies, but I don't like to mix it. I like 100% veggies and 100% fruit. So in the morning I get 100% fruit drinks and uh, in the evening I do 100% veggies for lunch, snack, and dinner, and sometimes late night snack. And, you know, on the side I'll have a couple ounces of apple juice or, or orange juice and I'll drink that straight because I'm not going to sit there and, and tell you guys that, you know, uh, some of these things aren't gross because I'd be lying. Some of them are, you got to really chug them down and, and just not think about it. Just think about that end goal. But, you know, that's what the process is. You you go through the whole thing and you, you find what works for you. All right, the last thing I want to talk about tonight before I let you go was uh, uh, I had a comment on my Monster Juicing Facebook. And um, April Castro asked, The comment that she had was um, that she was tired of people thinking that she was crazy for wanting to do juicing, as long as I'm doing juicing anyway. And you're going to have those negative people. You're going to have those people that you have three types of people. One, that they're going to support you 100%, no matter what goes on. Uh, two, they're going to be 100% against it, and they're going to be the antagonizers, the, the ones that are like, you know what, you're going to fail, this is horrible, you're screwing up your metabolism, it's, it's unhealthy, it's not natural, you shouldn't be doing it, and, you know, okay. And then, of course, the third type of person, which is the person who really cares about you and wants to discourage you from doing something they think is unhealthy. So those are the type of people I think affect me the most. Because somebody that really cares about you and says, this isn't healthy, I just, I don't, I don't want anything bad to happen to you, it's bad for you. You know, yeah, you, you're going to do your own thing, you're going to go about it, but it's still going to weigh in the back of your mind. When you start going through that first couple of weeks and things are feeling weird with your body and you're just like, God, this, were they right? What, should I stop? And it's, you know, it's going to affect you in different ways, but, you know, keep the, uh, keep the good attitudes. Um, keep going to all the different pages you can go to to, to pull that motivation and uh, you know above all else just you gotta make your own decisions it, do what your body tells you to do and when it comes right down to it um, you know smile shake your head and say that's fine I mean thank you for your input but I'm gonna uh, thankfully I'm an adult and I can make my own decisions so anyway guys Enough of my uh, soapbox. Uh, that's it for tonight. Day 41 is closing out, and it's, uh, it's been a pretty good day for the most part. Um, if you guys got any questions or comments, you know, subscribe. Put your comments down at the bottom, and uh, I'll be happy to read them. I'll, I'll even post them on here, and uh, we'll see what we can get as a group to try to answer your questions. Um, Next week, I'm going to try a little experiment with one of the things that uh, I was curious about, avocados. Um, I want to see what I can do with the seeds. And uh, from what I hear, you can make a nice little house plant with it, and we're going to give that a shot. So, all right, guys. Um, stay true to yourself, and uh, whatever you do, don't back down from making your own decisions. And uh, good luck on exercising, dieting, or juicing. Whatever you decide to do, that's you. All right, guys.